try to come back to an issue that was raised earlier on prescription drug prices. I want to propose the following. Number one, uh, do panel members agree that this is one, a particular issue that requires further study and effort, lowering prescription drug prices? Let, let me just hear from each, each one of you very quickly. And uh, would you be open to participating or continuing this discussion as an, a working group to look at ways to lower prescription drug prices in New York State uh, in, in methods that are not being considered now. And the reason I'm saying this is when I look at some of the bills that are proposed today to do so, and I look at what Governor uh, Cuomo has proposed recently, uh, much of that focuses on setting prices or looking at ways to impose penalties if you go over those prices. And I have seen very little that looks at means that takes it down through competition, as the, the gentleman raised earlier. Whether it's competition or whether it's importing it from other places or other ways to actually take it down through capitalistic means you just raised. So these are things that are not being considered now. And I'm wondering whether panel members would be interested in pursuing a dialogue on that beyond this convention. Please answer that. I can just make the comment. I, I think so, some of that works for especially generic drugs, and this is where we see, uh, you know, whether it's the Target $4 form, formulary or Walmart or CVS or Medicaid, for, for, uh, for generic drugs, this is where I've seen the market be very successful, where you can get lots of drugs for $10 for, for nine months. We'd need some sort of government regulation there because these companies, the companies, the pharmaceutical companies, they make the, the product, they have a patent on it for X amount of years, and they can sell it at the price that they set on it because nobody else can make it but them. Now, once the patent goes away, in my business, we see that with oral contraceptives. They, they put out a product and no other company can make it for X amount of time, and all of a sudden, when that patent expires, now the price drops down dramatically because now it's generic. So unless you have some sort of government regulation over the companies that make these products, um, you're going to have this disparity in, in cost. We need new policy solutions because everything that's been put forth at this point for the past decades uh, haven't been successful for a variety of reasons. But I also don't want us to lose sight of the fact that there are a lot of single source generics that are increasing rapidly. We're seeing 800% year over year increases for generic drugs, but there's only one manufacturer. Um, so competition in the generic market is also incredibly important as well. I, mean, I, I think it is an excellent point. I think that uh, I've always been fascinated. You know, hospitals are buildings, and the physicians are really the ones that order the medications on behalf of the patients. So I think we'd have to get um, the medical societies involved in this as well. So it's a it's a it's a big deal. Um, we don't really have the ability to influence it all that much, you know. Um, to the doctor's point, I mean, there talk about insurance, uh, you know, power, uh, the capitalistic engine behind insurance companies, um, uh, the pharmaceutical industry is just as powerful, you know. So I, I that's uh, that is um, they are real players in this, yeah. Well, I want to thank you for outlining our next steps uh, in the forum, uh, really pursuing opportunities uh, that would uh, find ways to redu reduce prescription drug prices. I, I but uh, my son came down with diabetes. He called me from the emergency room. He's 25 years old, so I'm kind of still in charge here. Uh, asked me to get him some uh, metformin. And I shopped around, uh, and I found out I could pay up and down Main Street in New Rochelle, probably the same in, uh, in Mount Vernon, $321.94, or $14, depending on where I just popped in. But my question to the panel is, my, my uh, state senator, George Latimer, said if gas stations pulled this, the state would shut them down. 
this kind of whipsawing is horrible and unethical. You can trust your pharmacist, maybe for the ingredients, but certainly not with your wallet.